on this very cold episode of the Mullet Mustang presented by Turn 14 Distribution. We are back at Toronto Motorsports Park to test out all these white line goodies to see if those 410 gears make us any quicker in a straight line. And we've got a surprise on the tire front for you. It's literally five degrees Celsius today. I think with the wind chill, it's like minus two. Yeah, degrees. this is not normal for this time of year. No, this is exceptionally cold. So a bit of a borderline call on our part to come out, but the clock is ticking. This is pretty much our last chance, I think. So we wanted to come out and test out all these white line goodies. So as you guys will recall from the last episode, we put that Watts Link rear end into the car. We did a bunch of front end stuff too with uh, stiffer bushings. We got and the 410 gearing. 410 gears in the back, which should really help acceleration. More so on the drag strip maybe than on the road course, although we'll find out. And then at the end, we've got a special treat. We're going to test out a set of new Toyo R888Rs, which is their brand new R compound tire, meant to be an improvement of their uh, venerable R888s. So we'll see how quick this thing goes on a true track, on a true track tire. Just to recap where we were last time, I did a best of a 124 flat on this uh, same tire, these Kumo PS91s, which I'm very impressed with. For a civilized, uh, uh, high performance summer tire, they perform really well on the track. But it is cold today, so we'll see uh, how long it takes for them to build some heat. I'm already sliding around a bit. Anyway, I'm just gonna take my time, put some heat in the tires. Last thing I want to do is uh, go mowing the lawn here with a little too much adrenaline. So, PT, you could just tune in in another lap or two once the tires are warm. All right, flying lap time. Whoa, got some rear brake lock up there. That was weird. clean lap I had the car rotating really well in a couple of those corners I don't think I'm gonna do any better so now we're talking we got ourselves a second and a half of time knocked off with these mods which as you road race guys will know a second and a half is a big improvement on, considering we're on the same tire so those gears paid off leaving it in third at the last corner was definitely the way to go and uh, I think I just kind of got a better feel for what was going on in the rear end here with the gearing and the diff. So that's a solid improvement. I'm pretty stoked about that. Now that Dave's proven himself over at the racetrack and improved the lap time significantly, I'm gonna try to do the same on the drag strip. I'm feeling pretty confident the temperature's cold, so I hope the engine gets more power from that. Yep. But the flip side is, the ground is yeah. not very sticky today. Yeah, it is cold, Not man. sticky at all. So yeah. 
I don't know if the compound is kind of burnt up or whatever, but we're gonna give it a go. Let's see what I can do. And hopefully this new rear end helps us out with those white line parts as well. My tried and true technique of dumping it at around 2,500 RPM has been working for me so far. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing here and we'll see what happens. the tires but boy oh boy you can feel the power holy smokes this thing moves so much better wow <laughs> well let me tell you it feels so much faster holy smokes. really it looked like a great line yeah well i spun all the way almost to the top a second wow so i'm not getting any traction i went a 1476 at 103 okay so the mile per hour is there we're definitely made up i think god we could probably go a, a i want to say a low 14 yeah um with proper traction but i'll try it again it felt really good yeah, it's i'm really sweet. happy with the new rear end on that cool man well let's do a couple more pulls and see if you can nibble away at your et there let's do it with the burnout down let's see if i can get a little bit of extra traction off the line i'm going to be lighter on the throttle. There we go. Much, much better this time around. Much better. Woo, 14-1. We'll take it. That looks sweet. That was sweet. That's a 14-1 at 102. Oh, damn. That was nice, Oh, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it through. I think that's as good as it's going to get, man. That launch was, I thought, spot on. Launched at around 2,000 RPM. Slipped the clutch. Grabbed second, and we were off. So, man, I am impressed. The car feels good. I'm sure it's a combination of the white line parts and the new rear end. And, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than I'm happy. Like normally running a 14.1, you'd be like, whoa, it's a 14.1. Yeah, yeah. Which in reality is really slow <laughs> for, the, for now these days. But for this car, we just almost knocked a full second off of it. You want to do one more and try for a high 13? Come on, buddy. Let's do it. All right. see if I can reproduce that perfect launch again. Got it. Ah. There we go. Come on, 13. Oh, so close. 14.08. Oh, man. See what the big man did. 0.08. Oh, really? 0.08. So close. Yeah, so 1408, 103 mile an hour. Well, we'll take it. Yeah. It's a big improvement. That is a huge improvement. I think at this point, we're going to say good rinse to the drag strip. It's been a ton of fun. The next time we are here, we will be in the 13s without a doubt. What does it need to go faster, PT? We're going to need some cams, intake manifold uh and slicks but that's that's a 12 second range thing what about the uh shifter how do you like banging gears with that? <laughs> come on i love it man it's the sloppiest <laughs> it's shifter a sloppy in the world mess. the shifter knob is actually moving on me but again i feel good i'm not going to complain all I'm right the happiest person ever to run a 14 second quarter mile time well let's get back over there and uh, get these r triple eights on there let's buddy do it all right Say hello to the new Toyo Proxys R888R. This is a brand new tire. What's important about this tire is that it's, uh, first of all, it's obviously a different tread pattern than the old R888. It's now an asymmetrical pattern with really big shoulder tread blocks. And the biggest differences apparently are underneath the rubber where you can't see it, but it's been re-engineered to both heat up more quickly, but also to be more stable at temperature. So it should be a better, say, time attack tire because it heats up quickly, but it should also be a good endurance HBD road race tire because it's gonna perform quite predictably over longer runs. 
I think it's the same GG compound as the R888. It's just all that engineering inside of it makes it perform quite a bit better apparently. In other people's test results, they've seen significant improvements in this tire over the R888. So with that said, we've already got the side bolted on. I'm gonna bolt the other side on and go and see how much quicker we can go. Wow, they do feel like a much stiffer sidewall than the Kumos, that's for sure. And I'm guessing I'm not gonna have any traction for the first couple of corners because they got no heat in them. So, I'm just gonna take it easy here. Put some heat into the tires. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is like I'm on ice. <laughs> On the rear tires here. Yeah, there's something happening here. I got fluid on my tires, I think. We we know we have a bit of an oil problem at the moment. There's a leak happening somewhere in the transmission or maybe in the rear end, and I definitely have oil on the tires right now, so I'm just gonna pit and have a quick look at it, see how bad it is. But that's frustrating. Just getting the tires up to temperature there, but not too bad we'll have one more go at it otherwise we may have to call it because that's uh that's just getting dangerous well as i suspected we do have some i think diff oil maybe pooling uh, inside of the rear wheel um i don't see any oil on the tire so i'm gonna try to get one clean lap in here it's really not a good idea but uh I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm an idiot and I wanna see what these tires can do. Otherwise, we're probably done for the year. This is really our last chance to try to get some data on these tires. So I'm going to uh, risk life and limb here and see if I can get a decent lap in. See if we can get one flyer in here, boys and girls. Toyo, but this is just not going to be a good lap here. The track's just gotten so cold. There's no temperature left. That's going to be it. Well, 122.46 is all I can muster in these conditions. Well, PT, the track is just getting cold and greasy. Yeah, it's getting dark too. It's getting dark and cold and these guys were all coming in. I don't know if there's a bit of oil on the track, but there's just not a lot of grip out there and it's not the tires. I can I can tell that there's something going on with the track surface. So it was a struggle. I still did go a bit faster than we went on the Kumos, but it's not going to be a representative time of, of what these tires can really do for us. Well, there's always next season, right? Yeah, I'm afraid we're just going to have to call it. There's between the oil leak on the car and the track being stone cold now, I think we're just kind of 
we're checkmated on this one. So we will try again at our earliest opportunity. Probably not this year, but initial impressions are promising. I think it's a really solid tire. I love the turn-in response. And the grip level seemed good on that first session when I got some heat into them, but the temperatures just drop so much, I, I can't do anything. Oh, it's so. cold. It's so cold. It feels like winter-like out it here. It really is like winter right now. So, unfortunately, I think we're kind of stymied on the weather, but we'll try again as soon as we can, guys. Well, that's a wrap on this episode, and I'm actually glad because it's so freezing it out here, ridiculous. Man. Yeah, it's, it's oh. winter in uh, October here. Unfortunately, I just couldn't get enough heat in the R888Rs feeling them now they're they're stone cold so the data is useless on that unfortunately but the rest of the day was a pretty big success I would say I'd say so too I think the rear end worked exceptionally well on the drag strip it as did. long as it, as well as the white line parts man I had good traction out there despite the cold weather yeah those 410 gears really seemed to help acceleration a lot and around the road course it paid big dividends too we dropped a second and a half off of our lap time on those Kumos, which worked extremely well in these cold conditions, so props to Kumo on that. Next time, uh, I guess we're, what, on to power now that winter's coming. We can't really do any more track testing. What's next? Power, 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 and more power, and maybe some interior mods. Hey, sounds good. We should say these are the Gram Lights 57 Extreme XX or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Check those wheels out, looking mighty fine on those proxies, our R's. Our Mustang is also looking really mean and fast. <laughs>